Hi everyone and welcome back to Super Drug TV with me, Daisy Maskell. We are buzzing to be back after a week away. Here is what we have in store for you this week. Fern McCann is in the studio, Aaron Carlo is giving us his ultimate hair goals and Kenzie Taylor from Foundation FM is also here. Let's get going. So I am so excited to be chatting to my first guest this week. She's a mother, an environmental enthusiast and an all-round babe. It's the one, the only Fern McCann. Hello, hey, darling. Hey, babes. What a lovely intro. How are you doing? I'm good. Happy to be here. Can I just say glowing head to toe? The oh. skin's glowing, the pants are glowing, <laughs> the shoes are glowing. We I'm haven't been this. out, so I've like... <laughs> made this as an excuse to wear gold trousers. Yeah. Why not? You're here today to talk about something really, really important. Super Drugs Doing Good Feel Super campaign. Talk a little bit about what it is and why it means something to you. Well, I guess I am on the beginning of my sustainable living, making eco-friendly choices very much want to learn and educate more but just being definitely more conscious of it and like I said making sustainable swaps especially since having a child I mean she's she's not a baby anymore she's nearly four um it just it just makes me feel more conscious about the world that we live in and how I can make small small swaps and choices to make a big impact yeah. and I think super drug what they're doing they they're making it kind of accessible and, and easy for people because actually it can be quite overwhelming. I feel like you and I are sort of at a similar stage in our journey as well because although this stuff has been around and people have been talking about it, it's sort of, you need to educate yourself before going out and going into Superdrug to see the amount of products that are out there that we can all be using. There are so many easy swaps that we can all be doing at home. I know you brought along some of your favourite Superdrug products, so talk us through them. What, what is in your um, makeup bag? So I absolutely love the Superdrug Biodegradable Cleansing Face facial wipes mm -hmm. um just because why wouldn't you like for me if I'm giving I don't know why I'm giving advice on on this subject where I'm so new to it myself but I guess for anyone new getting into it it can be so overwhelming so my tip would be to look at the products that you're using daily and see if there is an alternative like a eco-friendly alternative and you can make that swap. One of my favorite products is the Solate Tanning Facial Spritz. So it contains hyaluronic acid, which is really moisturizing, mm -hmm. aloe vera, and it's dermatologist tested, but it's also vegan and cruelty free. Okay. Now, the reason why I love this product is because I think the misconception with beauty products that are gonna be sustainable are gonna be really pricey and not affordable when actually this is 4 dollars So good. And I love at the moment, I think this is such an amazing concept and something that I was really impressed by is the beauty banks that mm -hmm. you can find in the super drugs stores so it's incredible so for example say if there's plenty of buy one get one free deals in superdrug on like shower gels or period products so you can actually donate the the one that you got free to the beauty to the beauty bag and those products go on to people who might not necessarily be in a place where they can afford um, you know, beauty products or or cleansing products and that sort of thing. So I think that's such a nice touch. For sure, I could go on for days because <laughs> I I'm really I'm really into it at the moment. Yeah. And I've I've recently made the transition to using a menstrual cup, okay. which is like the ultimate of sustainable living yeah. when it comes to your period health. Talk us through this a little bit because I feel like there's not enough information and there's not enough education. I feel like. A lot of people, it scares them a little bit because we haven't been taught like we should have done. So what is your experience with using one? Why did you start using one and what ones are available at Superdrug? Two, well, I, I think... love Mother Earth. I'm, I'm a big, like, you know, I, I love getting outside in nature and I want to protect that. But also having Sunday, my daughter, I want to protect it for her future yeah. and future generations because all of the luxury that, that you and I have had, I want that for my daughter and, like I said, future generations. So... Back to a menstrual cup, um, it's, you know, it's it's reuse. It's that, that reuse. And Luna, um, which you can find in Superdrug, they use, for example, organic cotton yeah. with their sanitary towels and tampons. And the menstrual cup, you can reuse it and it lasts for something ridiculous, like up to 10 years. Yeah. And actually, I use it for other reasons for when you have a child, you know, it's it's the best product for me personally yeah. after giving birth. So, um, yeah, I mean, that is such a simple swap. Small 
swaps for big impact. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing is, you can get into it and it can be such a minefield. You're like, oh my God, there's so much. But actually, my sustainable living might be completely different to yours. Yeah. Like what works for me might not necessarily work for you. So there's options. I know you have an amazing following online. You talk a little bit about sustainability on there as well. Why do you feel that's important? Influence, that term influencer, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Instagram, you can get in an Insta hole and just end up comparing yourself and all of that, all of the bad stuff that comes with Instagram. So I want to use it as a positive platform to influence in a good way. So for me, like, if I'm on the journey of educating myself, it's no shame to be like, I want to learn more. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to share that with my followers and then we can learn together. You touched on Sunday a second ago. I cannot believe she's four. It's, what is going no, on with this? It's, it's not even normal. So she's four in November. Oh, my but God. But she's, um, yeah, I, I can't believe that. Like, it actually sounds mad. She's three and a half, and she is a little <laughs> diva. What is she, she into right now? What is she up to? Oh, uh, well, she's into tantruming. Okay. I thought she was going to say tannin. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this is the thing, actually. You say that. Yeah, she's into tantruming. I thought the tantrums were going to stop at the yeah. terrible twos. But she's uh, she's very strong-willed. She's very independent. And I, I almost love those qualities. We love qualities. that. An independent woman mm. in the making. I love that. But... Um, I think uh, you said she's into tanning. Being from Essex, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that she's going to have her fair share of, um, of of fake tanning for sure. But I mean, even that, like if I was to teach her anything, like now I, it would probably be like less is more. Yeah. But I know she's going to go through the days of lashes and fake tan and all of that. But yeah, like I want to educate her on 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 this and, mm. and like, and, and, and trying products that are going to be kind of, Sunday is a massive, massive animal fan. Like she, and I know all children are, but she's obsessed. Mm. And I feel like I, it, it does make me think twice and, and having a child, it, you see the world in, it, through your child's eyes, yeah. which can be amazing, but also it, it kind of stops you in your tracks to think, well, can, can we make a difference by making those small changes? Fern, thank you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you. On this week's episode of Superdrug TV, Fern McCann, everyone. Next up, we have the amazing hair guru that is Aaron Carlo in the studio. And we are grabbing him for an extra special edition of Daisy Dares this week. We are all about the hair today. And Aaron has brought along some amazing new products from Tresemme. And he has a little hair tutorial for us in a little bit as well. Hello, darling. Hello. Good. I'm excited to have you behind the desk. No, I'm excited to be here. Listen, we are very, very blessed to have you on this episode because you have worked with everyone. <laughs> so you are absolutely <laughs> incredible. So I want to pick your brains um, on all all things hair. First up, who is, I guess, who is the best person that you've worked with? Who have you loved working with the most? Um, I don't really have like a best person. I've worked with like big, big names like once or twice and mm. then I've worked with smaller names for a long time. But I guess the main one I get sort of the most questions about is always Little Mix because mm. I've been with them for like nine years. What has their hair journey been like through the years? I mean, God, each girl's different and and it depends on the era that we've worked with. Like, I feel like with every album, we try to mix up their image a bit, mm -hmm. but they each have their own individual lane and their own individual style. So it's kind of always staying true to that. Mm -hmm. I'm so uh, jealous <laughs> of what you do. You get to create some amazing looks. I'm so here for it. I guess the past 12 months has really been about DIY beauty. And a lot of people have had to tackle doing their hair at home because yeah. salons have been closed for the most part. What have been some of the worst things that you've seen people try out oh at home? Oh, my God. I've had a few emergency FaceTimes okay. from people that start, try to do their own roots. Oh, it's a difficult job. And they bought, you know, the box dyes, mm. expecting it to be the same colour. Obviously, it isn't. Mm. I've seen some dodgy self fringes as mm -hmm. well. Um, and also, a lot of my male friends have been FaceTiming me where they cut their own hair. Okay, of course. So I've been like guiding them through that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here to talk a little bit about Tresemme. You brought yes. along some masks for us, which should help some people out with some situations as well that they may have gotten themselves into over the past 12 months. I'm actually really excited about these because these masks, they are for people with coloured hair, but you can also use them on natural hair as well. My hair's not yeah. coloured. So talk me through these, Aaron. Why are these so amazing? And what are they, what's so special about so these? So they are just literally what they say. So they're colour masks. Okay. And 
blonde, it is the Ash Blonde. Mm -hmm. So that's for blonde tones that need a little bit of freshening, a little bit of brightening, okay. get rid of any yellow tones, which is always important for blonde hair. Um, and then we've got Warm Red, which is for red hair, natural red hair, coloured red hair, but also hair that you want to add a bit more warmth to. So a brunette that needs a bit more an auburn. Oh, no, so I could put that in my hair. This yeah, way. and it will just give it like a shimmer of a slightly warmer tone. Oh, cute. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then we've got Dark Brunette as well, which again will stop the brassiness that can happen when brown hair fades. How are these different too? Because I know loads of people use those purple shampoos. Do they work yeah. in the same sort of way for toning? Yeah, it is the same sort of um, science behind it in terms of how it works. But this is just, the colour pigment's really strong. Um, so when you pump them out into your hand, for instance, the Ash Blonde, when you actually pump it out, it comes out like really oh, dark. Oh, wow. So I didn't even expect it to have colour in it. Okay, yeah. fine. So that's what it looks like. So it can look a bit scary, mm -hmm. but actually once you start working it into the hair, it's such a nice soft product that it, it blends really, really nicely and you're not going to get... I find sometimes with shampoos, you get it on your hands, you plonk it on your head and you just start scrubbing and yeah. you get build-ups of concentrated products. Yep. Whereas this one will just glide through the hair and it, and like you can just keep working it through and it doesn't grab so quickly that you're going to end up with blue spots. Okay. So well. it looks scarier than it is, but actually it works really softly and subtly throughout the whole hair. Oh, nice. So how long do you leave this on for then? Because it's a mask, isn't it? Yeah, but you can leave it on 3 to 15 minutes. Okay. Any longer than that, it's not really going to do anything. Yeah. But if you want more of an intense pigment, then you leave it on a bit longer. Mm -hmm. And again, you can use it once a week, once every few weeks, or every time, mm -hmm. if you want the product to, to really keep staining the, the hair. Yeah. All right, I've got to talk to you a little bit about your high hair moments and your low hair moments, so your highlights <laughs> okay. and your low lights. Talk me through your hair journey personally. Have you ever made any massive mistakes? Have you ever dyed your hair? Have you ever cut it? Oh my God, my own hair. Yeah. I think I'm like any typical hairdresser. When I was an apprentice, I was every color you could possibly be. <laughs> Um, I had like a really long fringe and a really long tail at the back. Oh, okay. And a Mohican shaved sides with a blonde, like white blonde streak the whole way yes, through. Yes, it's a look. That was a low moment. <laughs> that wasn't my finest. But I've been every colour, every haircut. I've had long hair, shaved hair, like all of it. Mm -hmm. Um, Aaron, I know that you did a little hair tutorial mm -hmm. for us earlier yeah. on. So should we take a look so you can walk us through? Yeah, sure. Amazing. Now, Aaron, I feel like I'm going to pick up a load of tips from this because I am I mean, hopefully. notoriously point, yeah. terrible at blow drying my own hair. Um, I can never get, you know, you go into a salon and it's like, I want to put down the straighteners and I never want to touch them again because your blow dry just looks yes. amazing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully. After watching this tutorial, we could all learn to blow dry our hair at home. So talk us through, I, I guess, like step by step what you're doing and some tips and tricks along the way. Well, I started by using the correct shampoo and conditioner, which I think some people don't think about. Mm -hmm. They just think, they use their normal product and then they go in and blow dry it and wonder why it's flat. Okay. Right? Well, um, so what we've done is we've used the Colour Revitalised Shampoo. We obviously used the mask this time as well mm -hmm. to help um, the tones and the ends of her hair. Yeah. But once those tones and the end of your hair you're happy with, you use the Colour Revitalised Shampoo and then the Colour Revitalised Conditioner. Fine. Right? As the as sort of as your routine because what that will do is help lock in colour molecules but also seal the cuticle and add shine okay. as well which is kind of what we all want once we've coloured our hair. Of course. So that's sort of the, the first routine and then also without fail every single time I always use heat protect mm -hmm. before I do anything. So a lot of people think heat protect is before you straighten or before you tong but heat protect can go straight onto wet hair before you even start blow drying it. Okay. So that's, there, that's sort of the main thing I do before I start anyone mm -hmm. is always think about the shampoo and conditioner and what effect that's going to have on the hair and then also always put heat protect on before I start blow drying. Okay. So I basically section the hair into seven sections. Five going around the back and sides and then two on top. Um, the sections can be quite big and again, like we said, rough dry it off first before you start blow drying it. Take each section and just using your hair dryer and a round brush, just blow dry the section away from the face, rolling up as you can, when you can. And then once the section's dry, just roll it up and clip it and let it cool down. And then move on to the next section, move on to the next section. So each section should be going away from the face. So you're doing five around here and then two on the top. Again, quite big sections with a round brush going back away from the face and just letting them to cool on top. And then the trick is to get it to last and to real, really seal in the cuticle is to go over each section then with a large tong and actually just smooth each section with the tong and that will smooth down the cuticle. 
and add shine. But then again, once you've smoothed it with the tongue, clip it back up again and allow it to cool. And then once the whole head is done and it's cooled, you just brush it out loads to make sure that you don't get like separated section pieces. You want it to all look very, very soft and natural. So brushing it out a lot is really key. And then once you've brushed it out and thrown it over to wherever it sits best, that's when you can finish with hairspray. Fine, so it feels like it's less about the drying process and the most important process is actually the cooling to really yes. lock in that look. Yeah, that will give you the it. shape and the spiral on the hair as long as you get the hair nice and dry first, that's yeah. It. Nice. Oh, Erin, we picked up so many tips. Thank you so much for no joining worries. us on this week's episode of Super Drug TV. Next up, we are back to the Doing Good Feel Super campaign and we have an amazing woman in the studio. Not only is she a climate change activist, she's also a radio host on Foundation FM, repping women all over the world. It's the amazing Kennedy Taylor. Hello, Hello. darling. I love that intro. Yeah. I'm like, feel... Lap it up. <laughs> Lap it up. You look stunning. Thank you very much. Loving I did have to this. plan this. Well, we're so happy to have you here today. Oh, we're going to be talking all about sustainability and obviously the campaign that you're involved in with Superdrug. But let's talk about Foundation FM. What are you doing with your oh. work over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, Foundation basically is a female-led radio station. Um, and when I moved to London, I'd kind of tried a few different places and nothing was really sitting right. And then I went to Foundation and it was just like a really safe space for women, female DJs. Um, non-binary people, the LGBTQ community, and it was just like, just good vibes really, so yeah. So Kennedy, talk to us a little bit about the relationship now with Foundation FN and Superdrug, because they've sort of merged together, they're working together at the minute, aren't they? Yeah, so basically for World Earth Day, we obviously hosted the Superdrug and Foundation FN brunch show, so that was um, an eye-opener really for me, because we had loads of different guests on, so we had someone from Tripping, which is like a platform which basically talks about how you can travel sustainably, how you can go to different countries and be sustainable and, you know, eat from local places and put back into the community, which I love and I can't wait to go on holiday now because I'm yeah. going to be doing all these things. <laughs> Don't talk about it I'm, too much. <laughs> You're making me so jealous. I know. <laughs> when we can go away, that's oh. what I'm going to be doing. Um, we had someone from Climate in Colour on talking about environmental racism, which again was something I'd heard of but didn't know a lot about, so that was amazing. And then we had Becky Tong. She started a... Uh, brand called Rewind Garms where she's tie-dyeing old clothes with vegetable skins which wow. sounds random but it yeah when she told me about it I was like huh but it actually looks really she's good making it work yeah and then I took on a plastic free weekend how was that do you know what it was hard yeah because everything is plastic of course. your bank card's plastic then your phone case is plastic so your hair dry your hair dryer might be plastic you know different things like that so it was like Re, like recyclable stuff was fine yeah. but in terms of actually not using anything plastic it was impossible yeah it's so true and yeah. I guess taking on something like that you really do realise how much plastic we all have in our lives in our yeah. households that we use day to day which is scary tons but yeah it was great I'm really glad that we did it and um, yeah I just think it represents foundation perfectly have you found it difficult sort of trying to live a more sustainable life or at least being a little bit more conscious I think in terms of diet, that would be one of the hardest for parts. Sure. But again, it's getting so so much easier now, especially from when I first started. It's like there's so many options. But with to be honest, with skincare and beauty products, it's, it's not difficult. So it's not really an excuse. It's just not things are cheap. Like we said, original source shower gel for a pound. It's recyclable. It, you can't really argue with it can you <laughs> yeah there's such a misconception I think yeah. that anything to do with sustainability um, is going to be more expensive and it's not going to be accessible yeah whereas Superdrug are making it accessible to a lot of people because it's priced at such a good price point so exactly. there's a reason for us all to be getting involved that's it um additionally talk us through some products that you are just loving that you cannot live without at the moment um well hyaluronic acid the skincare. Yeah, no, the skincare <laughs> we'll get straight into the skincare um I love my faith in nature shampoo nice doesn't leave my hair feeling like heavy and coated, especially, you know, when you've got quite thick hair, you know, it feels like heavy and just like, Bleh. so I love Faith in Nature. It feels really light and fresh. Um, my original source shower gels, can't live without, love the smell of them. And what else would I say? Retinol. Retinol's Getting great. Getting older now, though, so we've got to get on the retinol, you know? Retinol is yes. great. Apply it all over the face, down the neck as well. Everywhere, it's everywhere. <laughs> Keep us young Everywhere forever. that you age, just get it on. Kennedy, thank you so much for joining thank us you. on this week's episode of Superdrug TV. 
And that is all we've got time for this week. We'll be back next Tuesday with a very special celebratory episode of Super Drug TV. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you then.